Max was one of those kids that right from the beginning, you could tell that something was different. He didn't crawl when he was supposed to. He cried all the time. He didn't want to be social. He didn't make those little coo noises and want to talk. One of the hardest things about having an autistic child is not knowing what tomorrow is going to bring. Is to come downstairs in the living room and just sit in this rocking chair, the same rocking chair that I used to max, rock Max in when he was a baby, and I just stare at the wall. I couldn't do anything else. Ours is not a story about God cured this child, and that's not our story. Our story is like so many other families where the child isn't cured. So now what? I hope the readers read this book and feel like they can get up and do what, whatever it is that they need to do. I hope they fall in love with Max. Of course, because I'm in love with Max. <laughs> Max is this bubbly, wonderful, joy-filled young man. He just, he has this ability to cut through everybody's pretense. If they're trying to put on airs, if they're trying to pretend something they're not, uh, he's gonna slice right through it. And I like that about him. My desire was to really write something that could meet that mom who's sitting in the rocking chair right now. Maybe they have an autistic child, maybe they have some other issue. Um, and to slip something into their hand that could tell them Here's your friend, Emily, and she knows where you are. She's been there, she's still there, but she's seen something different and there is hope. When I first learned that Max was autistic, a great friend of mine wrote me a note and said, you found real favor with God because he has given you a person with special needs in your family, so you will learn sacrificial love. At the time, I didn't really get it. Now, believe me, I get it. Your faith is really anchored when you're caught in this tension of not knowing how you're going to go on and knowing you're not going to quit. And so right in that space between those two points is where the only thing you have to hold on to is God. And I did. <laughs>